Hello, my name is Mr. Rogers, and you're watching the video lecture for section 2-5 in your book. This is on orbiting satellites. So our lesson objectives, guys, for the day are, there's two of them. Um, we want to be able to explain projectile motion. <clears throat> and number two, really the big one, describe the force that keeps objects in orbit. And that's kind of putting everything together. We've been talking about Newton's laws of motion. And remember, Sir Isaac Newton, he was trying to explain again how planets move. What kept planets in orbit? He was really trying to make that case for how do we prove what's that, what forces are keeping planets orbiting around the sun. That the sun is the center of the solar system and everything is revolving around it. And the first idea we need to discuss is, is the idea of projectile motion. So what is a projectile? So this is actually a vocab word. I just want to underline it right there. A projectile is any object that is thrown. So I throw a ball. It's in the air. It's moving. It's a projectile, okay? Now, and we think about a pure projectile, it's kind of the idea of nothing, that we're not throwing it up in the air, not throwing it down, we're throwing it straight, that horizontal motion, horizontal motion. So the horizontal motion of an object does not interfere with its free fall. So as I throw it, the movement that, you know, it has inertia going this way, the force that pulls it down, gravity, is a totally separate force, that free fall. And gravity is one of the forces pulling it down. So those things are totally separate. Keep that in mind for in a few minutes here. And then secondly, if we drop a ball and we throw a ball, they will hit the ground at the same time because that projectile motion has inertia going forward, but there's also gravity pulling it down. And those, again, those don't interact. So the ball dropped and the ball that I throw, straight, horizontal, will land and hit the ground at the same time. And that's the idea of a projectile. And so Newton had this thought. And this, the idea is, again, we know gravity pulls things, attracts things to each other. And so gravity is going to be a force that attracts and pulls things toward the Earth or to other objects in space. And he has this idea. So what if I was at the top of a mountain and I could throw a stone as fast as I wanted to? That projectile. So obviously I'm throwing it and gravity's gonna be pulling it down. But if I can throw it fast enough, it's gonna be moving so far forward, or so fast, so forward so fast, that it's gonna to start to follow the curve of the Earth, because the Earth is a circle, it's a round. And so, when we put things in orbit, it's a state projectile that's constantly being falling toward Earth, but it's moving so fast, it never actually hits Earth. I know it's kind of an abstract idea, we'll talk more about it in class, but that's the idea of this projectile and projectile motion. And so what that leads us into is the idea of a satellite, something revolving around another object in space. So the big idea of this unit is orbiting satellites. And when we talk about this, um, a satellite is any object that travels around another object in space. So an object, again, gravity is affecting. Gravity is that force pull, attracting, pulling it toward Earth, but it's moving so fast around the Earth it never falls in Earth. It kind of falls around Earth instead of falling into Earth. Might be going to write down, even though I didn't put it in the notes. So something, a satellite is falling around Earth, but never falls toward Earth because it's moving too fast. Satellites in low orbit around the Earth, they circle the Earth every 90 minutes. So they see a sunrise or a sunset every 45 minutes. That's pretty quick. They're moving. And so the idea is this force that keeps objects moving in a circle. What's that force that keeps things moving in a circle? It's known as a centripetal force. It's any force that causes an object to move in a circle or to orbit, like orbit around a planet. So the moon orbits around Earth. The Earth orbits around the sun. And it's the idea of centripetal force is that major force that keeps it moving in a circle. And I put over here in blue that gravity. Gravity is a force that... Gravity is the force that creates our centripetal force on Earth, or in the solar system too, I should say. So centripetal force keeps things moving in a circle, and our centripetal force is caused by gravity, typically here, okay? So again, there's that statement. Satellites in orbit around Earth continually fall toward Earth, but because Earth is curved, and again, there shouldn't be a space right there. Earth is curved, they travel around it, all right? So I know it's kind of an abstract idea. We'll talk more about it in class. Um, there is one video clip to kind of get you thinking about it here. And again, I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere over here. You have to be on YouTube. I'm going to put a video clip 
over here in a second. And it's going to kind of set up this idea of a projectile. And that doesn't really happen. I mean, think about it. If I throw something and drop something, they're going to hit the ground at the same time. This is what we're trying to say here. And so I'm going to show you a Mythbusters clip to kind of set up the end of the video we'll watch in class next week. So, eighth grade, we will stop there for the day. I thank you guys for watching, and we will see you along the way.